everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a thrift haul for you. So I uh, went to the Goodwill and I found um, a nice amount of vintage Christmas. I was definitely surprised and the prices were amazing. I got this ribbon and um, you can see that it was 49 cents and I guess it was reduced. Um, that always, always interests me that that's how they marked um, prices on things. And it's this beautiful, intense red. This red fades a lot over time. So to find it like that, that was um, really awesome. And that was probably marked at 79 cents. Sometimes they do 99 cents too, but I cannot remember. I found this box of Christmas ornaments and this is not a design of a box that I own. So that is really nice that I'll be able to add that to my collection and I will fix up that broken little cellophane there. And the bonus is that it had some pink ornaments in there and they have the very small little toppers on them that would say Japan. Then there was this Napco planter. Now this would be nice to put silverware or napkins in if you were having a party. There aren't any chips or cracks and it actually has very little paint loss. So after I clean up the inside, that will be in really nice shape. And then with, I know the lighting's bad and it's upside down, but that's the little Napco sticker. And then I found these Santa mugs. Now they did have two more, but they had a lot of gray on them and I'm, I'm just not drawn to the mugs that have the gray. So hopefully someone else will be really excited when they find them. So when I saw that face, I knew it was a Holt Howard mug and I've never come across these. So this one has a lot of crazing and staining, but I like that because this one uh, is really white. And then if you display those together, even though they're the same shape and form, it gives it a little bit of variety with the different um, colors and stages of aging. So that one has a little remnant of a sticker that says Japan. And then that would have been the AR of Howard. <laughs> and then the five would have been like 1950 something. And these were marked at 79 cents a piece, which definitely made me happy. But I think that whatever color they were, they must have rung up on sale because things were ringing up at 35 cents. And how can you say no to 35 cents for a vintage Holt Howard bug. Obviously there's issues, but I love that charm. And then this one, I think appears to be in the best shape. And then that one has the really good sticker and then the year 1959. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Give me one second. And then I found this one that's different. I have one that's very similar. Um, as far as all the Santa mugs that I find or have found, this I think is the design that I like, that real classic one. And then that has Japan printed in there. I have found larger ones and I have found the little like nut cup, um, like toothpick size ones. So this one is a medium size. I found this vanity set mirror at the same Goodwill for $7.99 and I'll insert some pictures that maybe might be a little bit more close up and put together, but I really love the shape of the center mirror where it's square at the bottom and arched. I've come across them for like $25 and $40, which, you know, is a little expensive. So when I found this one for $7.99, I purchased it um, and hopefully it will work somewhere. If not, I think I'll be able to get my money back. But it does have this fabulous like silver that's coming off and these awesome like hinges. I could even use it for, for parts. Um, so we'll see if it works. But I thought I, you know, $8, it was worth it to bring it home and see if I can use it somewhere. I did go to an antique store and my, uh, my favorite booth at that antique store had 50% off of Christmas. So there wasn't too much left and I did not buy everything that was there. I just got a few things. So I could always use bottle brush trees because I use them to craft with. Plus um, I like to just tuck them all over the place at Christmas. So I got this one that is a uh, lighter green and that was $4 for the large one. And then the small one was two dollars and that's a little bit of a darker green and when you go to buy these I would highly suggest if um, you're gonna spend a little bit more money like if, if you're not at an estate sale and just you know putting stuff in a bag and making a price but you're actually at an antique store where they originally wanted eight and four give it a squeeze because these little fibers do not last forever and over time they will just start to crumble off. And the last thing you wanna do is spend $8 on a tree and as, as soon as it comes home, it starts to shed and then all you're left with is just like a rusty 
metal part there. Then I also got this little pixie and he does need to be re-glued right down there. Um, but other than that, he is, I think, really clean and in nice shape. Like that's not bent. His stocking, his face is clean. Um, his little hat, sometimes those will be torn or the little hanger will be missing. So with the discount, this was uh, $2. So they originally had it marked at four, which I think is a little much because sometimes there'll be like a whole, like four or five of them out on a table. And if you really wanted to get the whole set, you're looking at $20. Um, so I don't know, four is okay if you're gonna buy one, but if there was a bunch, I think it adds up quick. So $2 I thought was, was a good price. Now this is my absolute favorite find of the week. And uh, this was $5.50 on eBay. I did have someone bidding against me, so I'm so lucky that I won it and I won it for so inexpensive. I did set my alarm on my phone for a minute before the auction was over, just to you know make sure that I didn't get outbid at the last minute. So this arrived and it is more beautiful than I even uh, expected it would be. It's got this fabulous monogram, and um, I do see string in between the pearls, but it's really embedded down into the fabric, so I don't know if there's an adhesive and it's sewn, but they're not going anywhere. And this gorgeous purple velvet that is the softest velvet I have ever felt in my life, and then some crepe on the inside. There are no labels to know who made this or when, but I've got some thoughts. Possibly handmade um, because you can see, let's see, the stitching right there. That's not a sewing machine. And even on the inside pockets, that looks like it is hand stitched to me. Oh yeah, goodness, look at that. Okay, so my thoughts are that this is from the 20s. And when I did like a little research, um, when I was feeling how soft this was, obviously it, it is velvet. Velvet nowadays can be made with anything, cotton and polyester and silk and you know mohair or whatever. And the way that silk is made is when it's on um, the loom and it has two pieces of backing fabric. Now, not this, but I'm just using this for an example. The way that they weave it it goes between the two and then they cut it in half. So imagine a book that's closed and when you open it, you have pages on either side. So when they cut the fabric in half, you have two pieces of velvet, even though you only had to weave it once. And that's what gives it that soft feeling. So I would have just thought like, what is that soft that I've ever felt in my life? And I would think silk. So when I did look it up, to see um, like what velvet was made of originally. And it said silk, like in the 20s. The other thing that says 20s to me is this late, uh, this, this brand here on the zipper, it says Talon. So it looked like that company was formed in the um, mid 1890s. And that it said in the 20s, they, um, there was a huge demand for the zipper that was this design. So the fact that silk velvet was popular then, um, the zipper came uh, that was Talon brand was really popular then, I think that this is from the 20s and that it is an antique and 100 years old. It's got this beautiful pull with rhinestones and the faux pearls. Now, my little friend here could not stop touching it. That's how soft this is. <laughs> so he did pull those off. Now, fabric um, or string, cotton, silk, it's not going to last forever. I've got some vintage spools when I go to like cut a piece of thread off to sew. And if I just give it a little tight pull, it just snaps. They just don't stay that strong. So eventually it probably would have happened. So I might actually take that off and um, restring those, which would have to I probably happen anytime. But I know that was a lot of talking about this, but I just think that this is gorgeous. And I love the history behind it, that it would, you know, some some woman made this, or I don't know, some man made it, hand made it, the quality of that fabric, just beautiful. And then a little, little piece right there. So that's gonna go somewhere special in my dressing room. 
So thanks for watching. Uh, I know if you're all stuck inside, hopefully you enjoyed this little quick video and uh, hopefully I'll have many more for you coming up. I'll see you in another one. Bye.